even if your cooking is flawless and your food is looking super delicious but if it's not presentable if it's not easy on our eyes people will run away and go to the food which which lacks techniques but looks good so welcome back to the video guys and in this video we'll make sure that our asset looks good what we made looks delicious to our eyes looks good and presentable to do that we will be taking uh, advantage of our marble set to rack and if you are new here consider subscribing because i will be creating new videos regularly and i'll make tutorial videos more i'll keep on providing values Whoever wants to become a 3D artist can join this channel and take some advantage. Here, I'm just trying to plug in all the materials, maps, and tweak some of the values here and there, mostly lighting and uh, environment which makes it look more presentable because people tend to run away even if you lack technique if your asset is looking good on our station they'll just pick that so you have to make sure the work you have put in in modeling texturing unwrapping low poly so all that is visible in the last result which is very important i have seen people uh, getting lazy in the last phase which is very important to make their asset look presentable so that it looks good the final result is what actually matters you should focus more on that focus on all stages but this is also equally important you cannot run away with this also when you see the final result it's actually worthwhile your effort so put some effort in mamo set or unreal or other uh, rendering engines where you can uh, take advantage of if you know blender use that very good in cycles good gi and everything here we are using ray trace we will use as you watch along the video so that gives pretty good result with all the ambient occlusion some lighting some directional light some rim light so i'm trying to uh, figure out a way to put all the light a rim light from behind and a key light from the front that is my basic funda and all the other light is coming from environment the ground you're seeing is a feature of mamos it looks like that is a shadow catcher even if you don't have a plane to render shadows we have a built in plane that's called shadow catcher you can add it in the scene by right clicking on the outliner and it works just fine set up your materials correctly and it will look good if you have to find it nicely in painter as well metal looks metal and uh, plastic looks plastic so those are the things i'm um, i have exported all the maps on 4k so it looks sharp and crispy clean which i like try to export it in higher resolution if it's your personal project if it's uh, official or if you are working now face that then you are in bound with the boundary so you have to stay in limit but for personal go crazy go crazy with the light experiment experiment with colors with the settings with reflection settings everything play with it try to play with it and you will see some different results and you can comp it out you can do whatever you want if it is still so which is good So there is a way in Mamo Set where you can give subdivision without losing the details. That I did because that is important to render shadows 
correctly sometimes it gives you jagged edges because of low poly sometimes you can do that sometimes it's fine and at at last you can just bring everything with transparent background in photoshop put a background put the curves levels whatever you want it's up to you whatever feels nice to your eyes whatever it is your whatever tickle your pickle do that and that will be your final result i hope you like this series i hope you learned something i hope you are doing well you are practicing and i will see you again in the next one cheers bye bye